In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can quickly and easily generate methods for our code specifically to override toString, the hash code, and equals for our class. So here we have our encryptor class once again, and it's now containing our private fields for offset and encrypt options. We have the constructor and our encrypt decrypt stream function, and of course our getters and setters for the offset and encrypt options. But now, let's determine that we'd also like to override toString hash code and equals. Well, we can quickly and easily do this using our source code. We can generate toString. Now, once we do this, we can determine what fields do we want to show in the toString, or do we want to use some of the methods in the toString, or would we like to use anything from the inherited methods? So here, let's just output our fields for the toString. Where would we like to place it? Let's place it at the end again. And would we like to generate method comments or not? And you can set up templates for how you want to do your string concatenation. You can do string builder, string buffer, chained calls, string format, message format, or you can build a custom. So let's do a string format. And if you want to, you can list contents of arrays, limit number of items, collections, and maps. So if you actually want to contain information in there, you can do that as well. So here, let's go ahead and select OK. So now we can see our two string. It's the encryptor, offset, and EO and it has the string format method that I selected. So if you want to just chain it, you could very easily do that. Let's go ahead and just undo that. And then let's once again go to source, generate to string, and let's just change this to string concatenation. And you can see that it just chains it by using the plus symbol. So depending on how you want to go ahead and build your to string, you can do that in just about any method very easily and end up with very good code without having to write any of that yourself. So that wraps up two string. So let's look at hash code and equals. So here is hash code and equals. Generate hash code and equals. Once again, let's just go ahead and select this. And here again, we need EO and offset as our fields to include in the hash code and equals methods. We can take one out if we so desire, but we probably want to keep them. Where do we want to put it? Again, let's just put it at the end. You can put it wherever you want to. If you'd like to use instance of to compare types, you can do that. You can use blocks in an if statement if you'd like to do that as well. Let's go ahead and just select OK. And here we see we have our override for equals and our override for hash code. And it essentially generates a hash code and an equals method. Notice here that it does go through and check different if statements to determine if we are the same object, the same object type, and then compares the fields to make sure. And once if it makes it to the end, of course, returns true for equality. And so that wraps up our look at generating the two string hash code, and equals methods for our class.